Hello to my Scorpios. This is Queen Amon Ra coming to you with your general reading. All right, Scorpios, let's get right into it. This reading is for the 5th of July. For the 5th of July. Let's get into it. Let's get into it. Happy new moon. Happy new moon. Let's get into your reading. Let's get into your reading. Hopefully you all are having a um hopefully you all are having a good day. This video will probably go up on uh, the 4th of July, but it's for the 5th of July through the 12th of July. Let's get into it. Let's get right into it. So the moon is in Cancer. Yep, we'll just, these cards trying to jump out. The moon is in Cancer. Um, and so Cancer is uh, cancer is ruled by the moon. And, uh, and, and Cancer is all about nurturing. We're not talking about any Cancers that you know, whether you like Cancers or don't like Cancers. You can have Cancer in your birth chart, right? So this is a great time to pull your birth chart. Link is in the description to pull a free birth chart. <laughs> Find out if cancer's in your birth chart. Um, time to pull your birth chart and just um, and um, you don't need your you don't need your time of birth when you pull your birth chart. We do we have a whole birth chart series on the second channel. Um, and then find out how to nurture how to nurture your um, how to nurture yourself. You can just go to Google, that's free also. Type in how to nurture your moon sign for whatever your gender is. That's it. Let's get into it. Let's get right into it. First card out of the deck is the moon card. Oh, this is interesting. Okay, so here we have the moon card. Here we have the empress card, the death card, the tower card, the chariot card, and then also the queen of cups. Talking to you wherever, um, talking to you wherever Scorpio is in your birth chart, not just your sun sign, okay? Here we have the moon card. See these two masks right here? We kind of see the mask coming off. Let me see. So the mask off the people's faces, right? And see this dark energy coming out of the water, right? So sources saying we know that the moon has an affinity with the water. So sources saying the more you know, well, first of all, find out what your moon sign is, right? Make sure you're circulating your water every single day. So as you're pouring out your sun sign, right? We know that the sun illuminates the moon. As you're pouring out, right? You want to make sure every day you're pouring back in because... Sources are saying it's going to become easier and easier to see who is wearing a mask, who's talking about you behind your back. Here we have the Empress card so that you can cut ties with those energies. It's two types of energies that have been around somebody that's been overwhelming somebody without them knowing who it is. Been talking about you behind your back. And keeping your water flushed out on a regular basis. I know emotionally you all are the most intelligent sign. So you all can handle a lot emotionally. But if you're not doing things to nurture yourself, it's going to be hard for you to know who's wearing a mask. You may say, oh, I can handle that. I can handle, I'm so busy working. I'm taking care of this. I'm doing that. I'm busy, busy, busy. But here's your card right here, the death card. <clears throat> So it's just saying it's almost a it's almost a death trap to not take care of yourself. You know, it's like I'm running around here taking care of everybody else, but I'm I somehow I neglected to take care of myself. And I hear people say that all the time, Scorpio. I'm so busy, I'm, I'm taking care of this person, doing that, and I'm so I don't even get a chance to sit down for a minute. It really doesn't cost any money to take care of yourself. A lot of people are thinking I gotta spend some money to take care of myself. Please pull your birth chart. Find out what your moon sign is. Reiterate it right here. Please pull your birth chart, find out what your moon sign is, and start being good to yourselves because it's going to expose people like never before. Start doing something for yourself so that when you get a feeling that, hey, I'm at a fork in a road about something, I'm not really sure about something, it's going to expose the people that are wearing masks. Either they're sitting there, you know, like some things, sometimes it's kind of obvious. You walk into a room where people who have said something about you, and you can tell instantly the temperature has changed. Oh, okay, I see what this is. Or you you could have you feel like you have friends, but then all of a sudden the people that you, you feel like a conversation was had about you and you're thinking, okay, oh I know my friend, you know, I know my this my friend, but then your friend introduces you to some more friends and the temperature changes. And you're like, Well, wait a minute, what something feels odd or off here. A conversation was had. Um, yeah, and so source needs you to start, you know, nurturing yourselves, pouring more into yourselves. You know, getting on that throne now. Get on that throne. Adjust your crown. Pour it. To, hey, don't neglect you. 
Make sure you pour into you. So you get them funny feelings about some things. You're like, okay, now wait a minute. Are people talking about behind, behind my back? So that you don't assume everybody, so that you don't misread people. You know what I'm saying? Like you don't just assume, okay, I can't trust this person. I don't trust anybody. Like you, yeah, we know that's earned, but you don't assume, you don't assume that, um, that the people who have your best interest at heart don't have your best interest at heart. Some people are genuinely showing you love because you're gift, you all are, you water signs, you know, y'all. Extra gifted and talented. Some people just, they showing you love because they genuinely feel like, okay, they gifted and talented. <laughs> you know, but there are some people, you got all the water up here. You got Cancer, you got Pisces, and you got Scorpio up here. So somebody has been kind of sort of holding on to something. Something, somebody has been holding on to something about you. Some kind of um, jealousy, some kind of, they've been trying to mirror your energy. Um, how could I say this? You know what's coming to mind, uh, Scorpio? Yeah, I, I, I know some people tuned in may not remember this. It's a movie with Bridget Fonda back in the day. It used to go, it was called Single White Female. They have one now called Single Black Female, but it could be also used for men too. It's like you know, it, I know it's not a movie called that. Where it's like a mirroring spirit, like energies get real close to you, but it's something that they want from you, right? It's like something that they they're mirroring your energy. It's like that, you know, you hear people say, keep your friends close and keep your enemies closer. I'm not really sure where that came from, but, you know, but that energy is very, um, uh, I don't know, that's something that you want to continue to adopt, especially as a water sign. Even though you all can handle a lot, you may want to keep start keeping those energies away from you because you, you all are intelligent, emotionally intelligent enough to see it from afar. Like you don't need your water contaminated because you can handle so much. You don't want to get it so mixed up in your water that you be, you reflect their energy and people read you wrong. If that makes any sense to you all Scorpio, you don't, you don't want to, you know, you don't want people to read you wrong because you're, you're actually carrying around someone else's jealousy or envy of you. And you don't you don't realize that you're carrying around their energy of you while they look good because it's something about your energy. Like I feel like somebody I feel like somebody comes from a long line of people who like try to help people to go through a rebirth. Like I feel like I'm talking to somebody who has a really good heart. Like your intentions are to help, like genuinely help people. That's why I feel like I'm talking to here. I feel like somebody has a very nurturing spirit. Um, someone who is a very um like a motherly spirit. But when you're around, and I'm talking to men and women too, uh, Scorpios, but when you're around energies where you feel like you can handle a lot emotionally, all it takes is just, just that one like tiny bit of toxicity to mess up all of your water, to contaminate all of your water. And next thing you know, you look like the very energies you keep close to you that you can't even see. So that whole keep your friends close, but keep your enemies closer. Mm -mm. That's not, that's, somebody's going, that's when we close out this session, somebody's going to have to break away from that. Somebody's going to have to break because you, you all are too intelligent. You could see, that's something y'all can sense from across the room. You don't even need somebody in your org layer for that. Mm -mm. Yeah, so two of cups. Here we have the sun card. Here we also have the death card, the emperor card, the uh, three of wands, the three of swords. Yeah, here we have the Two of Cups. Here we have the Death card coming out twice. Yeah. Here we also have the Sun card. Yeah, the Sun illuminates the moon here. Here we have the Three of Wands here. So let's see somebody taking a leap of faith and moving on from some past disappointments. There could be an Aries involved. Or somebody who could have somebody who has this emperor energy. Yeah, 
Yeah, somebody who has an emperor energy. Um, <clears throat> emperor energy on it. So it's light and dark side to all energy, right? Light and dark side, duality, right? Light side of emperor energy is somebody who is structured and someone who is um, authoritative. But the dark side of emperor energy is someone who is like really rules with an iron fist. Like I gotta, I gotta take out my enemies. Like this death card. Like I'm not gonna let them get to the rebirth side. It's literally like working with somebody who says, not only do I see this person as my competition in the workplace, so forget. You know, they 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 don't just take it to the. Um, I want to become this person's manager. Like I gotta, I gotta, this person has to report up to me. They got to take it to like extremes. They have to take it to the, I want the person to quit the company. Like, but I gotta, I want to ruin this person's reputation. <laughs> like, so if there's, if there's any kind of uh what what is it called when people, um, I don't want to get the person fired. I mean, I want the person to quit. So that way they don't get any kind of whatever compensation people get for when they, leave, you know, if they get fired or whatever, like what, whatever the compensation is. I want this person to quit that kind of energy so they don't feel as bad. They feel like, OK, I got I was able to bully them out of their position and I just want this person to give up so I don't have to feel that bad and say, well, you know, they did quit, you know, so, I mean, I guess I don't feel that bad, you know, they couldn't hang in there, they weren't strong enough to hang in there, it's that kind of an energy, that's their justification, they're just that ruthless, so source is saying to you, when you keep those type of energies close to you, thinking, okay, I got to keep my eye on those types of energies, you actually end up contaminating yourself, because you end up looking like the bad person, because you think, okay, I, I need to keep this energy close to me, I need to watch every little thing that they do, they're going to slip up and say something, so it's like, mm -mm. no, that's, that's like, literally, um, like, you know, going to lunch with a person who will justify you as being a new enemy like you could have been you could have been faithful to this person work you know could have been like reporting up to this person like reporting to them you know turning in reports on time making them glowing and shine and you could be the star employee in the office all kinds of stuff and you you don't even know what you said or what you did to um, get on their bad side. And the one time you do something, I saw this in one of the episodes for the Twilight Zone. I, can't, so was it, I forgot the name of the episode for the Twilight Zone, but I was like, that's that energy, right? It's, it, I, I want to say it was a, it's a devil. Like it's, a, it's, I don't see it up here in the car, but it's devil energy. It's demonic energy. It's like the first time, like no, no matter how loyal you are to the energy, the first time you do something, you don't even know what you could have done to that energy. It is, it's, it's vowing to extinguish. It's vowing to extinguish everything in its path. And if you show any sign of weakness whatsoever, so it's just saying, okay, you're the target. So, you know, so anyway, so I'm seeing right here, sources saying you're actually, somebody is, somebody is actually learning. Like you don't even know. I feel like somebody don't know what, what in the world they said or did. So source is saying something is going to get you focused. It's time to take off the blindfolds. It's time to take off the blindfolds. Here we have the star card here. Yeah, it's time to take off the blindfolds. Yeah, somebody's going to help you take off the blindfolds. Because there's more than one star shining in the sky. See this right here? It's more than one star shining in the sky. And source is saying some energies are just that. They feel like they can only, there's only one, that's just them. They're the only star shining in the sky. And that's just, that's just as ridiculous as just thinking there's only one star shining outside in the sky at night. That don't even make sense. <laughs> so here we have the 10 of cups here. So be very careful. I feel like somebody may need to do a better job at protecting their family, you know, relationships like you and your spouse, you and your, you know, um, you know, you and your kids or what something, some, or, or somebody could be coming into a relationship. Somebody could be having a child or something. Somebody could be married or have a child or something somebody is doing. Um, because yeah, th those types of energies, they are, um, 
I don't, I don't even know what word to give them. All the first thing that came to mind was that it was a, I can't even remember the name of the episode for the Twilight Zone, but that was what came to mind because people kept trying to tell this person they was like, but this was somebody that somebody considered as like family though. Like this is somebody that somebody considered as family to you. That somebody's like a somebody that's like considered as family and like you letting them be around you and family could whatever your definition of family is. Like you've known them for a long time. Here we have the magician card. So take your power back. Time to take your power back. The Empress card came out twice. Empress card came out twice. Yeah. No, Empress Horror came out twice. There's something about you've known somebody. Um, you've known somebody for a long time. I feel like somebody's been talking about Somebody, okay, I don't know who this is for, but somebody may have been around somebody's kids since they were little. Somebody could have been around somebody's kids since they were little. Talking about people behind their back. Wearing a mask. Like these two are here have a mask. Here we have the strength card. Here we have the eight of cups. Here we also have the three of cups, the two of cups. Okay. Yeah, so... Um, well, somebody is going to be... Um, some, somebody is... The two of cups came out twice. Um... Source is definitely putting somebody around a different group of people. You know, you're tossing something to a burning bowl. It could be fire energy. You see this fire right here, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. Something somebody's tossing into a burning bowl. Like you're tossing away fear, anxiety, um, any uh, thing tied to narcissism, anything tied to feelings of low self worth. Um, Anything tied to fear, like, you know, low, like low fire, like anything tied to burnout and just being grateful. You know, it's like you're just grateful that the past is behind you. Grateful, like even if you're still going through something, somebody's just like, you know, you're just great. You're just speaking it into existence, like you're speaking it into existence. Like, I'm just grateful that the past is behind me. I'm moving beyond this. You know, I'm just moving beyond this. Staying focused. The universe um, chariot card came out twice. Two card, I mean, two of swords, two of swords. Um, we also have the star card again. Here we have, the, like I said, more than one star in the sky. Somebody definitely saw. I don't, I don't know why people. Mm. Somebody was just dealing with a familiar spirit. Somebody who was not only trying to mirror something you were doing, like you know, getting close to you. Um, Could have been somebody's ex, because it, it could be. They said like a lot of situations going like ex friend, ex love interest, ex somebody, two exes. Exes is not just ex love interest. Just so we're crystal clear, it's not just that. It could be ex friend, ex office mate, ex. What ex is? Could be two ex love interests. Um, but they both wearing a mask. They masking something having to do with sexuality masking something having to do with their sensuality their intuition their belief system they masking something having to do with water because water connects us with intuition sensuality sexuality joy creativity 
it connects us with all of that, right? Right in that sacral uh, chakra, uh, sacral chakra, right there in that pelvic bowl area. It's in the, the second chakra from the root. So it connects us with all of that, like in that creative space. Seeds are planted, watering the seeds, all of that. So somebody's wisdom is... Um, uh, somebody, somebody had to use wisdom. Somebody had to pray to source for wisdom. Okay. Source. I need wisdom. I need, I need clarity. I need wisdom, you know, for this. And so, yeah, but somebody had gotten familiar enough, you know, with you, um, and kind of was like, I guess putting somebody in survival mode in a sense. Yeah, here's a chariot card here. So yeah, two things are over. Tower card. Um, here we also have the Queen of Swords here. So now somebody's sitting on their throne, carefully vetting their thoughts about everything and just leaving. Just, you know, like I said, people who wear a mask and all that stuff, letting people get that close to you and just kind of like project certain things onto you. But it was definitely somebody who was just like masking something. That's why you got these two masks coming off, right? And so... Now that somebody is like learning how to pour back into themselves and you kind of taking some time and praying, you prayed for wisdom and he's like, okay, source, expose, expose people around me. Like show me what I'm not seeing. Show me because we, we are not, we are not each other's guides, right? So you want, you need the clarity of source. You need, you need to, so show me, show me what I'm not seeing. So that's what somebody asked for. Source says that's all. I was just waiting on you. I can I can I can I can keep lead, trying to lead you to water. You know, you were around a bunch of energy vampires. I can keep leading you to water, but I can't force you to tap in. I need you to tap in, tap in. So somebody the moment somebody started tapping in, that's when it, all of a sudden everything started becoming clearer and clearer and clearer. And so but somebody had already tapped out. You had already poured out, poured, kept pouring and pouring and pouring into everybody. So it says, no, no, I need you to tap in. <laughs> I need you to go in. I need you to tap in. Sit yourself down on a throne and start pouring into yourself. Moon sign. Yeah, strength card. Four of cups, four of swords, six of swords, nine of cups, nine of cups, and five of wands. Strength card came out twice. So it's you and somebody, like I said, it's you and somebody going on a journey together. You and somebody are like, you know, winning together. Both of y'all had to learn about how people talk about people behind their back, wearing a bunch of masks, all of that kind of stuff. Both of y'all are wishes are being fulfilled. Um, both of you all are stars in your own right. Everybody's a star. Everybody has purpose. That's what I mean by star. So both of y'all are able to move forward optimistically. Yeah. Um, hey, um, both of you all have been hurt, you know, talked about behind your backs, haven't had a chance to process your, your pain. Uh, Ten of swords can mean you are, I think, but like everybody has experienced loss of loved ones, didn't get a chance to process that life was still ha happening. That's why I talk so much about the importance of pouring back into yourself because life happens. You get a phone call, somebody transition. Your job give you three days bereavement. Like, what is that? Who, who came up with that craziness, right? But um, here we have five of wands. So instead of somebody looking at things as like being a David and Goliath situation, somebody's going to start doing more of just taking the time to pour into themselves from now on. Four of cups. Yeah, so that you, you're not... Um, you're not letting other people put you in a situation where they think that you, you like you the energy vampire. You're going to start taking some time to say, you know what? I'm taking some time to pour into me so that people don't look at you as like, oh, they making it all about them. They narcissistic. Like they projecting their narcissism onto you. They making you seem like you're the narcissist, right? So here we had a um, Knight of Cups. So now somebody's going to be grateful that they're going to start taking some time to pour into themselves. Cause that's that's the that's the game right there. Oh, they just a narcissist. They make everything about them. I mean, I mean, they everybody go through stuff. Really? Oh, yeah. Every, every, I mean, just about everybody has have lost people. People's, um, you know, processing death. You know, is different for everybody, right? So, but to be around that level of insensitivity. Mm -mm. 
No. So a source is helping somebody to learn how to, when you're around that level of insensitivity, where people are basically saying to you, you're the energy vampire, you making it all about you, when you're trying to process traumatic situations or whatever somebody may have gone through, you feel like something is just like, you know, so it's saying you're going to walk right on out of their life with the quickness. Goodbye. So you have the gift of telepathy. That's the transference of thoughts, feelings, ideas, whether they're intuitively, emotively, or superconsciously. You have the gift of premonition. That's forewarning. You want to create the change that you want. So somebody's going to let go and let God. So uh, something, you know, you have the gift of precognition. That's foreknowledge. There it is. You're going to pour into yourselves more and start doing the mirror work. Yeah. Now this one is not a surprise. Leviathan spirit, the demon of envy. I, I mean, I, I all of this water right here, time to ground yourselves. You never know why people envy somebody. Somebody can envy because of your skin color, believe it or not. They can envy you because of your height, your preference, your freedom, the fact that you're just a free spirit. They can envy you for so many different reasons. You have no idea why people, um, they can envy you because of your gifts and talents, because people are drawn to your genius. I mean, you have no, sometimes you don't even know why people, so it's time to ground yourselves and grounding yourself is a water sign. Remember water is shaped and guided by the earth that holds and surrounds it. It's time to decide to move on, get away from certain types of spirit, like get away from a certain mindset. I keep my friends close, but keep my enemies closer. Uh -uh. Y'all can literally walk into a space and read a room. This is a time to really tap into a high vibrating Scorpio. Now, even for my cross watches, if you have Scorpio in your birth chart, you better tap in. Don't forget the rest is a form of self-care. The answers you seek are coming soon. Somebody never stopped loving you. But take time to decide. Yeah, I see you being booked and busy and not burdened at all. The best is yet to come. See, somebody's ex wants to return. Ex whoever. I don't know who the ex is, but you moving forward. Your new home awaits. Yep. Keep moving forward. Somebody wants to call you, but they haven't changed. Somebody wants to call you, but they haven't changed. Ex could be ex-friend. It, it, no, I don't want somebody. It could be ex-love interest, but bottom line is, you learn how to save yourself. You learn how to save yourself. So when the moon is in cancer, um, it, it can be a super uh, extra um, sensitive time because the moon, it's cancer is ruled by the moon. So that may be the time somebody goes back into their crab shell and just process their emotions and journal. You may just go back into your crab shell and just process your emotions and just journal. So, But something is just saying letting go of some stuff. Letting go of a certain particular mindset, a particular emotion about something. So everything indeed is out of control and God will hold it all. I can safely let go. Yep. I can safely let go. But yeah, that may be something somebody want to let go of. Because water is reflective and all it takes is a little bit of contamination. Next thing you know, everything is out of control because somebody didn't realize it's that little bit of contamination of being connected to familiar spirits, mirroring spirits, pour, you know, draining you and depositing into you them, those energies. A new start is coming. A new start is coming. Twenty-four. I am fertile in what I seed, for there is reason to dance and drink upon the riches I receive. Yep. You don't know if you look a certain way, if you remind some people of somebody of somebody that hurt them. You know, you'd be surprised. But when you go back in your 2020, what is it? Hindsight. Um, what's the what's the saying? Hindsight is 2020 vision or something like that. Um, 
when you start going back in your mind and you start going back and start thinking like, wait a minute, what did that person say? What did they say to me? Um, yeah, abundance. 14, abundance. Yeah, so somebody has abundance of gifts and talents that people really want to draw from those gifts and talents. Um, somebody's going to start seeing a major difference in when people want to pour into you versus when people want to drain you. Somebody's going to see a major, major difference. Some people are coming with solutions. They want to exchange. You know, they want to exchange. And then some people just want to drain you. And they feel like they're only, they're draining you by gossiping. That's one way of draining. So, um, let's see. Um, yeah, it was, it was uh, two energies that... Um, Twenty-five. I am intelligent. You have great ability to take in and process information, both consciousness, both on conscious and subconscious levels. Your curiosity is endless, and your desire to dive deep into a variety of subjects will bring you an immense awareness of the world. Twenty-five. That's what I have for you. Thank you for joining me. I will see you all in the next reading. All right. Bye.